Hey YouTubers, so today I got a short video for you guys. I'm working, I'm using my sewing machine and so I had a little project going on. This is my, for those of you who haven't watched my other videos, this is my console CP206R. It's basically a cheap knockoff of a console. But anyway, what I'm going to show you is, so I was doing some, uh, I'm doing some OEM work here and it has uh, exposed stitch, it has a French seam and the problem is that my sewing machine wasn't making a stitch that was large enough so what I did was, and you'll notice right away this piece, this plate was screwed on here and I unscrewed the plate and then it looks like they had machined all of this out I don't know what the purpose was behind that, but this is the lever that adjusts how big or small your stitch is, and it also goes all the way down for reverse. So that's what, there's a lever that screws into there, and then you move it up and down. And it's basically this little lever with this knob on the end of it. So if you have a similar sewing machine, you know exactly what I'm talking about. The thing is, the lever isn't going its full length of travel with this plate in place. So all I did was remove the plate and I moved the lever, lever all the way in the up position as far as it'll go till it was touching this. And here is the difference in the results. Here I'll show you. So, get my tape measure. All right, so this is how long a stitch it was making before and you can see they're not very big at all you know you're getting what probably four stitches per uh, centimeter and then this is what happened when I removed that plate and then moved the lever all the way up and now you're getting about two stitches per centimeter so it's basically double the size and so you can see this white one. This is the one when I moved it all the way up. This is how it was before. You can see there's a drastic difference in the size of the stitch that you can get uh, once you move it up. So it's really good if you wanted to match some OEM work and you wanted to do like a French seam or any kind of exposed stitch. So what I was gonna do, my original plan was I was just gonna bend this lever in a way so that it would give me the full length of travel. But then once I bent it, it cracked. It cracked. Oh, I don't think it's here. It, it's cracked right there. You can see that little light part. Well, I won't focus on that. But that light part right above the nut, that's where it got a hairline crack. And so I decided I'd go to the hardware store and just get some all thread. This is, <clears throat> it's just a long threaded piece of metal rod. And I could not find this thread anywhere. It's not a metric, it's not imperial. I don't know what this is. <laughs> but I've tried every possible variation and I cannot find it. It is, however, smaller, just a little bit smaller than an Imperial 1024. So what I did was I went to the hardware store and I bought this 1024 all thread. It's one foot long. It's going to be more than enough. And then I bought this tap set that's 1024 so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tap out this hole to 1024 and then I'm gonna tap out the inside of this to 1024 so that it can receive this all thread and then I'm gonna cut the all thread down to length and I'm gonna install it instead of this piece which it's a little bit thicker and so that's what we're gonna do right now now tapping tapping out a hole is actually pretty straightforward they give you they give you the right size drill bit to drill it to just uh, below the, the diameter of the hole and then they give you this tap and you screw that in and you keep screwing in out in out to make a nice clean thread and then when you're done that's it if whatever you have that's the right thread pitch will screw right in there since this already has a hole that already has a hole there will be no drilling all I'm going to do is get straight to the tapping. I will tap this hole out and then tap that hole out and then I will cut my all thread to length. So 
so the tapping part is pretty straightforward process I got the uh, head for the lever in here and a vise so it won't move and then my tap is in there and what I'm gonna use I'm just uh, I used to have the right tool that screws on here really tight and holds it but I don't know where it is and I don't feel like looking for it so I'm just gonna use this adjustable wrench and get it nice and tight on there and what I like to do is I put a little bit of grease on there and then so I'll go in about two three turns and then I come out one turn and then I just keep doing that so you know in about three come out one in three come out one until I'm all the way through and I'm satisfied and that has always worked for me you know it, it gives me a nice clean thread whenever I uh, tap something out like this so and the grease kind of catches the metal shards as I go through it I can feel like I'm almost all the way through now because it's getting easier as I'm going down in there Yeah, it's, it's pretty much all the way through. Like, I can just spin this thing around <coughs> all the way down in there. Yeah, see, it's all the way, all the threads are all the way in. Uh, and you can see it's kind of starting to stick out the bottom. So, yeah, that's as far as we need to go. And so now, if this was done correctly, I should actually be able to turn this off by hand it's a little bit stiff but I can mostly get it by hand so yeah I'm gonna take this all the way out and then I'm gonna check my work by putting the all thread on the end of this thing and seeing if it screws on there real nice and once I've done that well then We're going to do the same thing inside the sewing machine. So, blow that out. Make sure no metal shards are in there. And then we'll see if it goes into the all thread. Yep, screws in there like a dream. Yeah, I twisted it out off camera, but you can see. Like, you see that? That's when you know the thread has been done just right. So, um, what I'm going to do is once I get it adjusted, I bought these nuts and I'm going to put a nut on the end of here and tighten it against that and make sure this doesn't just wobble around and move and come loose and then the same thing is going to happen down in there. So now time to uh, thread this little piece down in here. So this piece in here, it's going to be a little bit tricky but it's not super hard to do. It's just that since it, that lever is all the way in there and this tap has to go in there, it's a little bit of a reach. But, you know, that just means I have to be patient. So I'm going to have to give this a twist and then take it off and then give it a twist and take it off until I get it all the way in. And then I'm going to take it back out and then I'm going to test my all thread. But, I mean, it's going on there nice and smooth just like the other one did. Just like on the... Uh, the lever knob so it'll be fine all right so I got my tap all the way in there and I can actually put my finger back here and feel behind this lever and I can feel the tap that I can feel the tap came out the other side so it's all the way through and so now I'm just gonna take it all the way back out 
just like I did with the other thing with the knob and then I'm going to check my uh, alter it and make sure it works right all right so I tapped the hole out I screwed my all thread in and you can see there I have the nut that I'm going to use to uh, hold it in place to make sure it doesn't back out on me and this is the full length of its movement it's like it's not going to go anywhere further than that and then now I just need to see where I'm going to have my lever which is going to be right here and then I got to mark it with this sharpie, sharpie like so and then I'm gonna cut it off right there. So I gotta take all this back off, cut it right there, and then put it back together, and that should be that. I used good old fashioned hacksaw to cut that off right there. The only problem is that on the end, the threads end up getting marred when you uh, cut it with a hacksaw. So what you do is you put a bolt on from the back side and then screw it all the way off. And then when you screw it off the end, that ends up straightening up the threads so that you can put other stuff on it so that if there was any kind of mars on the threads or anything like that that bolt actually straightens it out and so i mean that nut sorry actually straightens it out so now i should be able to put this uh, it's hard working with one hand it's hard working with one hand And yeah, it screws right in there. So I'm going to end up putting one nut on this side to keep this tension on this so it won't unscrew. And then one nut on this side where it screws into the sewing machine to make sure that doesn't unscrew. And I'm also going to, uh, I guess, bend this down a little bit so that it'll be... Uh, straight across when I have it on the maximum thread length. Funny thing I noticed with this, when I screw this in here, <coughs> sorry I got a bit of a cold, but this plate, when I put this plate like this, which is how it was mounted on the machine when I got it, um, the lever hits here and it stops the, the travel a lot sooner than if I mount it this way. If I mount it this way, this indentation is almost completely lined up with the, uh, the back of it. See? When the screw holes are lined up, which you can see right there, this top part is lined up with that. So I can still get the full travel length if I turn this plate upside down. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to turn the plate upside down and I'm going to try it like that and see if it works. I put the all thread in, I put this nut on there, and I tighten that against this so it creates tension so this isn't going to back out. It's on there pretty good. And then now I'm going to put this plate on, and then I'm going to do the same thing with this knob that goes on the end of it. Now with this installed, with the plate installed, I move this down here because this right here this is where this lever is going to be the shortest so I tighten I screw this nut in just to where it's almost touching there and I know that's my shortest point and then I screw this in place and then now I'm going to tighten this which it is a 3 8 let me get my 3 8 yeah so get my 3 8 and hold it in place and then tighten it and that's it. It won't go anywhere. I can tighten it a little more than that, maybe. I don't know. Let me see. <coughs> yeah. So, it's on there. Now for the moment of truth, I'm going to, with my new installed lever, I put it all the way up. Wow, that thing is way up there. I don't know. But anyway, 
we're gonna see what size stitch we get. I'm gonna put it right next to the other one and compare them side by side. They are the same size. So I would say that modification was a success.